time, I would have been in marine biology. I don't even know if you're like allowed to do that, but I was like under 21 and I Disneyland is so hard. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine and I make all kinds of videos, including vlogs, nursing videos, lifestyle videos, fitness videos, and all that jazz. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my social media. Oh, I saw Mickey Rye's video about how she, every job that she worked prior to becoming a nurse, and I really was inspired to do this because I actually did a lot of odd jobs prior to becoming a nurse, so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about it. A lot of people have a lot of odd jobs, especially during nursing school because you have like that lack of time. So I just wanted to talk about my experience. So I worked quite a few jobs prior to becoming a nurse. So um, I was going to debate whether or not I wanted to include like the volunteer experiences I had because I did have quite a few, but I'm going to talk about this very briefly. So the very first volunteer experience I ever had was at the Aquarium of the Pacific. And this job was obviously unpaid and it was a volunteer it was called Volunteens, and it was one of the most fun freaking experiences ever. I was 16 when I did this. I was a sophomore in high school, and I remember we would get to teach people about um, different kinds of marine life. Um, I think this is where I started to really exploring what I wanted to do, because I was super interested in marine biology. If I wasn't doing nursing, I think I would probably be in marine biology. Um, one of the coolest things was um, we worked with the I think they're called moon jellies where you like would basically watch to make sure people wouldn't poke the moon jellies and they're like these jellyfish that you can only touch the surface um, so what if you touch their like tentacles their stinging things then you would get like you wouldn't get stung but the jellyfish would actually hurt more than you would and I remember telling people that because everyone would be so freaked out but one of the coolest experiences and I remember getting to feed sea otters oh my gosh I really hope that I still have the photos and if I do I'm gonna post them up here it was so much fun and I think if I ever went back to school or went back in time I would have been in marine biology but I really like marine life if you haven't seen my my Instagram about how I posted about I, how I got to swim with dolphins. Oh my gosh, it was like literally a dream come true. Another volunteer experience that I'll speak kind of briefly on was I worked in two different hospitals. So one hospital I worked at was in Kaiser and I volunteered there as a lot of different things. I volunteered as like a reader for kids who are in the clinic and then um, I volunteered as a front desk which is just showing people directions. Um, I also worked in the pediatric unit on um, in Loma Linda hospital and that was really neat because I got to see how freaking advanced that hospital was in comparison to any other hospital that I've ever seen. So. Those were obviously unpaid and I didn't make any money, but it was a really good experience and exposure and I thought it was really cool because we kind of saw like the workflow of a lot of health. So my very first job that is actually paid was actually um, my boyfriend's family's business. Um, you know how you're like don't have any work experience and it's so hard to find your very first job? That was me. <laughs> Believe it or not, I literally couldn't find um, a minimum wage job and it was so hard for me. So the first job I ever had was at this catering business that sold, um, it was called Hala Hala. If you don't know what the Filipino drink is, and I worked with him and it was actually super fun because it was um, the 66 night market. And if you don't know what that is, I am going to post my vlog right here for you to go ahead and watch. It's essentially trying a lot of different Asian foods and unfortunately because of the COVID situation we aren't able to do it this year but I think his family actually stopped doing it. So it, it's we sold these hollow hollows and I remember working my first like eight hour shift and being so tired and I was like I've never worked this hard in my life. And we we're literally on our feet like shouting the orders, scooping the ice cream blending all this stuff and 
it was like pretty intense work but it was really fun because obviously I, my first job like I'm working with my boyfriend it was actually above minimum wage I think it was like I can't remember it was like between like 12 to 15 dollars an hour and obviously it was kind of a bit of a drive but it was super fun and I really actually enjoyed doing it my second job it was actually a consistent job I worked at a poke place and I literally made like ten dollars an hour I think ten fifty an hour and um if you don't know I really love poke and I worked at this job for a very very short period of time because again it was a little bit further from my house but it was the only job that I could actually get so I just like went for it so I remember working that job for a very short period of time and then after doing that, I went straight into um, being a server at a ramen restaurant. I don't even think it's open anymore, actually, which is kind of sad. But um, it was a very brand new business. I remember walking into the place and I the place wasn't even set up yet when I first interviewed for the job. So it was like this really cute, like small family owned ramen business. And it was like actually super fun to work at. I don't even know if you're like allowed to do that but i was like under 21 and i was like mixing drinks um that one i also worked for a very short period of time and i only got paid minimum wage at 10 50 but i made i honestly working as a server you make bank because um if you have these really big parties they'll obviously tip you a lot more um it was actually really hard because i've never been a server before and i remember just like being kind of flustered when we had like a big influx of people especially when we had like the grand opening I didn't really know how to oh my god there's a fly I didn't really know how to like handle such a huge crowd but I think because this is the, the first job where I had to handle such a big volume of people it really taught me like a lot so I think that was probably when I was in my first I wasn't even in core of nursing so I was still doing my nursing prereqs when I was working that ramen job, I remember doing, what was I? I was like in anatomy when I first, I was in anatomy and something, some elective that I was doing for nursing. And I was already attending West Coast when I finally worked at Disneyland. And this job, oh my gosh, if you don't, uh, working at Disneyland is so hard. Um, but I thought I was making so much bank because this is my first job that it wasn't working. Well, actually it wasn't my first job because my very first job I didn't make minimum wage. But I was making like $11.10 and I thought I was making bank. And I was doing part time and I remember my shifts were kind of hard because like some would be 4 hours, some would be 6 hours. Um, very few would be 8 hours. Um, and... It was hard because the thing is you have to show up an hour early, take the cast member tram, go all the way there, clock in. And I personally worked at the Beignet place in New Orleans Square and also connected to the French Market. And that was on the way other side of the park. Like if you know where like the very end, like near Credit Country, that's how far I freaking walked. And it's hard to like get there. It's not like where you were working like Tomorrowland where it's a very short walk. I walked far and I would get there super freaking early because I hated like having the anxiety of running late. So that was my, oh my gosh, what was the show that? So my first job was the Holla Holla place. Second job was Pokey. Third was Ramen. And then Disneyland was my fourth. And I think this one I still talk about the most because when people see Disneyland, it's, I think it's the only one that I still have on my resume because people always have a lot of questions about it. And if you watch one of my very first like vlogs that like hit it big, um, I talk about a little bit about my very last day there. And it was, it was kind of bittersweet because working at Disneyland is such an experience, but I feel kind of gypped now that People at Disneyland are now making like $15 an hour, and I only made like 11 But, yeah, it was such a crazy experience. I can't even believe I worked at Disneyland. Yeah, if you have any questions about it, shoot me like a DM. I think it's super interesting to work there, and I don't regret it. But it was really hard to balance that between school, so I did end up quitting that job. And I think the next job, the weirdest job ever that I would never in my whole life imagine myself doing, but I found it on Craigslist. <laughs> 
and that's how you know it's a little bit sketchy. I worked as a crossing guard, that's what it's called. And this job, so you would work when the kids would go to school and from school. And because the, there were one hour shifts that were split, you would get paid for three hours. So I remember technically I was making $15 an hour. And this job was like the best job for me because it was like, I remember I wanted like a really mindless job. And when I was cashiering at Disneyland, it was so hard. Um, because I was, sometimes I'd be a food runner, sometimes I'd be a cashier, and I'd be so thankful when I was a food runner because there was so much math that was involved in cashiering, and you'd think that I'd be good at it, but I wasn't. So after that, I really wanted a job that was very, like, not, that was just mindless, because I was like, I'm gonna work nursing, and that's a job that, obviously, now I can attest to. It's so much, like, thinking every single minute that you're there there's no time that you can't not think so yeah I worked in around my area and I would go from 7 a.m. in the morning to 8 a.m. usually sometimes it'd vary like 6 45 to like 7 45 just depending on what school area I was in and I would hop from different schools so I would never really be at one consistent place I was kind of more so like a filler and then I would return to the same site or go to a different site when they would get out of school. So it was a really interesting job. I don't think I would ever imagine myself doing it, but I definitely don't regret it because it was very easy and it was it paid very well and um, it worked pretty well with my schedule because I was only really going to school two to three times, three or four days a week. So I'd be making like $30 times like four days a week and it made me like some money that I could kind of like survive on survive on for my like luxuries on my family to give me money for food and stuff. So that was like a really good way to kind of just make some extra cash while still fitting in my schedule. So finally, um, I stopped working that job because Honestly, it got really really hot and during summertime they no longer had school So my very last job before I went into nursing was being a CNA um, I wasn't even a CNA. I wasn't certified. I was a nursing assistant and they took my credits from my um, School as long as you pass fundamentals they will allow you to do um, nurses aid work so like taking vitals, emptying out like the urinals, um, like INOs kind of stuff. Very basic patient care. Um, and I did it at one of my local hospitals and I did it in the psych unit and I think that's why I'm like so so interested in psych but I was always really kind of interested from the very beginning when I took psych um, and I think that's where my niche was. Um, at this point, I think I started it when I, it was October, November, October of 20, I think 2018, yeah, 2018. So I was pretty close because I finished my program in August of 2019. So I didn't work there for a super extended period of time. Um, it was a really, really small hospital. Um, I was surprised that I even had a psych unit, but I thought it would be super, super interesting to actually work in psych because I was interested in it. Um, it was a locked unit. And it was specifically general psych, and my main tasks were just like regulating them during snack time, um, helping. There were a lot of total care patients, which was actually super difficult. Um, having total care psychiatric patients is like a whole different world. Um, I would do vitals and it's super cool and it's like because you only do vitals once which is insane like seeing now and I'm in the ER like I do vitals like for me personally because I like to like monitor my patients I do it like every single time I go in their room so like every hour essentially um, if they're really really stable maybe every two three hours but yeah, that's why I think I look back and I'm like, oh my god, we only did once at the very beginning of my shift and then at shift change. And yeah, he would just medicate them. They would sleep during the night. And that's when I first did my first night shift that was actually paid. 
and at this job I was being paid oh my gosh I was getting really grossly underpaid at this job and I think that's why I quit before I even um, graduated nursing school um, I was paying only $11 an hour to be a nurse's aide and I think I should have negotiated that but looking back now it's probably not that much money um, but I did feel a little bit gypped because my friend who worked there like right after I quit was making $16 an hour, which is a big big jump I don't know if like something with the union changed or something like that But I really feel so gypped after that because that's actually a lot of money when I look back I was gonna try and negotiate it to like $12, but the fact that they got like $16 was like pretty insane um, I remember they told me it was because I wasn't licensed, but my friend was also not licensed So I was like a little bit bitter about it, but I'm not mad about it anymore It's just like in the past my very last job before I went into nursing my very first nursing job was my new grad program in the ER So I won't talk about my pay on that completely other video But yeah, that's pretty much my very last job I'm going on my ninth month as an ER nurse in my new grad program so I think it's pretty crazy to see that I went from like working at like a food stand to where I am now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow my social media. Going on my ninth month as an ER nurse in my new grad program. So I think it's pretty crazy to see that I went from like working at like a food stand to where I am now. So. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow my social media. And if you want more videos like this, I feel like you guys really like the sit down videos, so I will post more of those because I feel like people actually enjoy watching them. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.